Today, you will be presented with a scenario that explores the complexities of ethical decision-making within the judicial aspect of the criminal justice system. As you listen to the scenario, pay close attention to the details and consider the various factors at play. After the scenario, you will be asked to reflect on a series of questions. These questions are designed to help you think critically about the issues presented and formulate your own perspective on the best course of action. Please listen carefully and be prepared to engage with the questions at the end of the scenario for your assignment. Jessica Morales, a young woman with no prior criminal record, is arrested after a routine traffic stop reveals a significant amount of illegal drugs hidden in her car. She insists that the drugs were planted and that she had no knowledge of their presence. The case quickly gains media attention and the public is eager to see a conviction. The prosecutor, Thomas Reed, is determined to secure a conviction to boost his career. During the trial, Reed realizes that the evidence against Jessica is circumstantial and may not be enough to guarantee a conviction. In a desperate move, Reed decides to withhold key exculpatory evidence from the defense. A statement from a witness who saw another person placing the drugs in Jessica's car the night before her arrest. Reed also pressures a key witness to provide false testimony, suggesting that Jessica had a history of drug dealing, even though there is no evidence to support this claim. As the trial progresses, Jessica's defense attorney begins to suspect misconduct but lacks concrete proof. Jessica is ultimately convicted based on the fabricated evidence and the withheld witness statement. Shortly after the conviction, the witness who provided the false testimony comes forward, admitting they were coerced by Reed. This revelation leads to an internal investigation into Reed's conduct. Prosecutorial misconduct, such as withholding exculpatory evidence and coercing false testimony, undermines the integrity of the judicial system and violates the defendant's right to a fair trial. Such actions can lead to wrongful convictions, erode public trust in the justice system, and result in severe consequences for the prosecutor, including disbarment and criminal charges. Now let's explore the implications of this scenario further by considering the following questions. These questions are designed to encourage you to think critically about the ethical, legal, and professional dilemmas faced by those in the judicial system. Reflect on each question carefully and use the information provided to guide your responses. Let's take a moment to review the discussion questions. 1. Ethical decision-making. Why might you believe that withholding exculpatory evidence and coercing false testimony is unethical and detrimental to the judicial process? Discuss the potential impacts on the defendant and the overall justice system. 2. Balancing career and integrity. If you were in Reed's position, how would you balance the desire for a conviction with the ethical obligation to ensure a fair trial? What steps would you take to avoid falling into the trap of prosecutorial misconduct? 3. Restoring justice and accountability. How should the judicial system address instances of prosecutorial misconduct once they are discovered? Discuss the possible actions that can be taken to rectify the wrongful conviction and hold the prosecutor accountable. Now that you have heard the details of the scenario, it's time to reflect on the questions. These questions are designed to encourage you to think critically about the ethical, legal, and professional dilemmas faced by those in the judicial system. Please take your time to consider each question carefully and formulate your responses based on the information provided. Remember, your thoughtful engagement with these questions will help you develop a deeper understanding of the ethical and practical considerations in the judicial process. Think carefully about each question before responding and be prepared to discuss your answers as part of your assignment.